So a gas undergoes a complete cycle from A to B to C and then back to A. Now the question is what is the net energy added to the system during this complete cycle? So our starting point is to recognize the fact that the gas comes back to its original state and therefore the temperature is unchanged and hence no change in internal energy and we can say that therefore Q is equal to W or the heat added is equal to the work done on the system. So let us therefore find what is the work done here. So you can see from A to B the work done is area under the curve AB which is equal to half into 30 plus 10 into 3 which is equal to 60 joules and this is positive work since the volume is expanding. Now from B to A we can see that the volume is decreasing and therefore negative work is happening and since this is a constant pressure process we can straight away use the formula work done is equal to P delta V or work done between B and C is 30 into V final minus V initial which is equal to 30 into 1 minus 4 which is equal to minus 90 joules. Now from C to A we can see that the volume is not changing hence the work done is 0. So through the cycle the work done is WAB plus WBC plus WCA which is equal to 60 minus 90 plus 0 which is equal to minus 30 joules and we earlier established that in this cyclical process Q is equal to W so Q here is equal to minus 30 joules and if you recall from our lesson on the first law of thermodynamics a negative quantity of Q indicates a loss of heat by gas and therefore here the gas has lost 30 joules of heat. So you see while solving such problems as a good practice to find work done in any process that a gas undergoes a, a good starting point is to use the formula P delta V. If uh, the process is at constant pressure it makes things easier for us and we can find P delta V quickly and if the volume changes zero we can again quickly infer that the work done is zero since delta V is zero and finally if pressure is varying then we may need to use integral calculus to find the work done that is nothing but finding the area under the curve that the process is being shown for on a PV graph. Also when you can see that the area under a curve of a process is a geometric figure uh, like a rectangle or a triangle or a, a trapezoid you can you, you do not need to use integral calculus, you can find the area using simple geometry only.